hello everyone you are welcome to my channel so today we are asked to solve for the value of x in this equation the first thing that we need to do is to simplify this and to do that we need to recall the law of exponents or indices and this law says that a to the power of x multiplied by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x plus y all right in this case, we have 999, nine, nine, the same base, okay? So, we we'll just pick one of the base, just like in this form, and then we are going to add the powers together, okay? So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we are going to have 9. We are going to pick one 9, and we are going to add the three powers together, divided by... Now, you now have 9 to the power of 9 plus 9 to the power of 9, plus 9 to the power of 9. What do they have in common? 9 to the power of 9, right? So we are going to bring that out. Then we factorize 9 to the power of 9 divided by itself. We give us 1. This divided by this, we give us another 1. This divided by this, we give us another 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of x. All right? So we have 9 to the power of 9 plus 9 is 18. And 18 plus 9 will give us 27. So we have 9 to the power of 27, okay, divided by 9 to the power of 9 multiplied by 3, right? Sorry, this 3 is multiplication. So multiplied by 3. And everything is equal to 9 to the power of x. Okay, this place seems to be somehow. Let me rewrite what we got there. What we got is what? 9 to the power of 27 divided by 9 to the power of what? 9, okay, multiplied by 3. This is what we have. Because 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give us what? 3. Okay, is equal to 9 to the power of x. All right. Now, let's put everything in the same base. Because there is what I always tell my students. Once you are solving any question on that exponents or indices, please try to put them in the same base, okay? So we are going to have 3 to the power of 2. That is 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, right? Raised to the power of 27 divided by 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 9 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1. Yes, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1, all right? Is equal to 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. Now, let's recall this law of exponent that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n, okay? So once we have more than one power on a base, we are going to multiply the powers together to get one power, okay? So this can be, in, this implies that we have 3 to the power of 2 times 27, right? So we have 3 to the power of 2 times 7 is 14, carry 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 will give us 5, okay? divided by 3 to the power of 2 times 9 is what? 18 multiplied by 3 to the power of 1 is equal to, now here will be 3 to the power of 2x, okay? All right. Now, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, this is what we have at this point. So we have 3 to the power of 54 divided by, we have double, we have the same base here, 3 and 3. So we are going to apply the first law of indices, right? So we are going to pick the base, which is 3, and we are going to add the powers. 18 plus 1, we give us 19, right? Is equal to 3 to the power of 2x. Now, there is this law of exponents that states that 3a to the power of x, divided by a to the power of y is equal to a to the power of x minus y, okay? All right, so we can now solve this as 3 to the power of 54 minus 19, okay, is equal to 3 to the power of 2x. They are now in the same base, okay? So we have 3 to the power of 54 minus 19 we give us what? 4 minus 9 can go. Then 14 minus 9 will give us what? 5. 
and four minus one will give us three. So we are going to have this is equal to three to the power of two x. Now, once you have the same base, just equate the power. So we can write that 35 is equal to 2x. Now, to get the value of x, all we need to do is to divide this by 2 and this by 2. And we are going to have that x is equal to 35 divided by 2. And that is your answer. You can go ahead and convert this to decimal or towards mixed fraction. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.